So you've capitalized the company at 28, 28, eight and a half million dollars total. Uh, you're ready to launch, you've got planes. You're ready to launch, so it's 1996 now. And you're off and running. And like many flights, there's some turbulence after takeoff. What happens six months in? We got into a fight with Transport Canada, which is the equivalent of your Department of Transportation. And um, uh, I ended up shutting the airline down for 17 days. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So six months in, you're starting to make money, actually. That yeah, we'd made $5 million. $5 million in six months. And <coughs> can you frame for them what the issue was? What happened that led to this standoff? Um, have you got a couple of days? Uh, it, it was a very complicated issue, but fundamentally, um, to get our license, we had to uh, submit a, a pr we had to get approval to about 13 different significant documents, one of which was a document called a maintenance planning document. And it's a document that would be about yay thick, and uh, it took us a year to negotiate with Transport Canada. Um, when the our first audit occurred after six months. Um, the auditors walked in and said, where do you get the, you shouldn't have had this document approved. Uh, we're not going to audit you on that document. We're going to audit you on this document, which is the document you should have had approved, which of course we would fail on. So they say, whatever you've been audited on doesn't matter. We're auditing you on something else and you proceed to have conversations throughout the Ministry of Transportation. And what were those conversations? How did they, how did they go? Well, each time I had a conversation with a regulator, I would convince them that we would be prepared to adopt the new maintenance planning document, but it would take us 90 days to do it and that they should suspend the audit whilst we did that. And each time I got an agreement to do that because that was actually within the confines of the law. And each time that happened, his supervisor would, would overrule him and renege on it. It happened four times. The last time it occurred was at 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday night, um, the day before our first board meeting and our first shareholder meeting. And uh, I realized then that actually there were forces at work that were far greater than anything I understood. And I realized that we were up against something that um, we weren't going to solve by negotiation, so I shut the airline down at midnight. 